Hello everybody and welcome back to another subfoil video. I'm Matteo from Subfoil Engineering Team and today I'm here to explain how to assemble and configure in the right way the crack and quick release system on your mast. If you have any doubt or just want to know more about the crack and quick release system, we highly recommend to watch the first video of this mini series in which we explain everything about the advantages of upgrading your hydrofoil with this module. But let's get started. As a first thing, I want to show you what is contained in your crack and quick release system box when you purchase it. You will find a user manual, the pin, which you will use to mount and dismount your crack and quick release system every day, the quick release module upgrade for your mast. In the second level, you will find a small hardware box with everything to assemble your quick release system and also the X tool to use your quick release system every day. In the hardware bag, you will find specifically a sacrificial anode for your system, two small screws M4 per 10 to assemble it, two screws M6 per 35 to assemble your quick release module, and a set of shim that you will use to configure in the right way your quick release system. Now let's get started and uh, see how to actually assemble your system. As a first thing, we need to remove our cracking plate from the mast. So with our X tool, simply remove the two screws. Now that the plate has been disassembled, we need to remove also the plastic caps in order to use the quick release system. Doing this may seem a little bit tricky, but it is actually very simple. To do it, we just need our X tool, but we highly recommend to use some adhesive tape to, to make the tool softer and so you don't scratch your plate. Just put a small amount of tape here. And then, starting from the brass side, you see there is a stainless steel side and a brass side. Start from the brass side, put your X tool inside and just make a small level. And as you can see, the first cap has been removed very easily. For the second side, just put your X tool inside the hole. And with any kind of tool, I have a plastic hammer in this case, just do a little impact and remove it. Very easy. Now our cracking plate is ready for using the quick release system. So let's put it apart. Now we need to remove the standard module from our mast. So always with our X tool, just unscrew the two sides very easy also this step now before assembling the quick release module on our Kraken Master we need to prepare it with the sacrificial anode so just take the anode and the two small screws coming with it put them inside and just assemble it on these threads. The model is now ready. We just need to assemble it on our mast. Here we have a typical configuration of the crack and quick release system on a mast. As you can see, I put some shims between the quick release module and the mast but why I need them to configure the system? Well, every subfoil mast is made of full carbon fiber and through a molding process. So differently from an aluminum mast, which is milled at a CNC machine, there may be some minimal differences between one mast and another in terms of centesimal of millimeters. So you will need to compensate these small differences through these shapes. But let me explain how this quick release system actually works so that you can understand the importance of configuring it in the right way. So first of all, 
when you put your conical pin inside your cracking plate like that, it will pass through this hole in the mast. When the quick release module is well configured with the shims in this position, the following will happen. Having the conical pin in this particular shape, when you tighten it in the cracking mast plate, it will slowly push the, the quick release module in this direction and this will generate a vertical force that pull the mast to the plate with a very strong connection. The conical pin will generate also a transversal force in this direction that will stick the cracking plate to the mast walls. This uh, creates a very solid, reliable system and uh, trust me, you don't have to be afraid to lose your mast in the water or something like that because you have just one mechanical part because uh, the system is very, very reliable. But uh, what you need to do for this uh, to happen in the right way? You just need to put the right distance between this uh, quick release module and the conical pin. Because if this is too far from the conical pin, when you tighten it, it uh, will not touch or not touch enough the brass plate here and so the system will be loose, you will not have the right vertical force to connect the mast to the plate. On the other hand, if the quick release module is too close to the conical pin like that, when you try to tighten the conical pin inside the plate, you will not be able to reach the end of the thread and the system will be connected vertically, but you will not apply the transversal force that keep everything solid in every direction. So now you understand why it is so crucial to configure in the right way your system with shims. But let's do it together, because in the end it is easier than what you think. Let's go. Okay, as a first setup try, we always suggest to start with four shims between your quick release module and your Kraken mast. Just do a stack of these shims here and here. They are very thin, so please be sure not to lose them. Just put the screws in. Okay, so they are secure. Okay, and just try to put your quick release module on your mast. Just secure it by hand at the beginning, then take your X tool Now you just need to check if the distance you put between your quick release module and your uh, conical pin once tightened is correct. So to do it, just assemble your plate on your mast and put your conical pin inside and start to, um, to tighten it. For a perfect configuration, uh, you need to fill the conical pin harder when you arrive at almost one millimeter, half a millimeter from the brass, uh, from the brass uh, bush. So here I actually feel it much harder. I can still tighten it almost to the end, but at the end I need to do some turns with the short lever of the key. Okay, so there is no gap between the conical pin and the brass. The pin has been tightened up to the end of the cracking plate. And so this configuration is perfect. So I was quite lucky because I did the right configuration with the first try and I hope you will do too. But if it is not the case, don't worry because it is very simple to, um, to configure it in the right way. Let's see what would have been happened if I had uh, too many shims for my mast in the quick release module. I simply assemble it. Now let's check in our plate what happened with this configuration. I start to tighten the pin, but even if 
I am arrived almost at uh, zero millimeter between the pin and the brass plate, it is still very easy to screw it. So I was able to tighten the pin until the end of the thread, but uh, with a very low force applied. So the system is not uh, um, stiff enough and uh, you can feel some play between uh, the plate and the mast. So you need to reconfigure the system. You just need to remove some distance between the quick release module and the pin. So you just need to remove some shims. If this is your case, we highly recommend to remove one shim per side and retry the check until you find the right configuration. Now, let's assume the opposite situation in which we have not enough shims to create distance between the quick release module and the conical pin. So they are too close one to each other. Just assemble the plate and the mast and let's see what happens. Okay, in this case, I already feel it very hard, so I cannot tighten anymore with my end. And also with the short lever, I'm not able to tighten up to the end. So this is the maximum I can reach. I can make you see. And you see that the conical pin didn't reach the end of the thread. This is uh, also a bad configuration because I am creating the force in the vertical direction, so the mast and the plate are connected, but I'm not creating any force transversally. You may feel some plate in this direction, as you can see. So you just need to add some shims in order to create the perfect distance and have the right configuration. If this is your situation, we recommend to add one shim for each side and try again with the, this check. If uh, this is not uh, enough, just put another shim for each side and try it again until you find the perfect setup. The Kraken quick release system is a very reliable and strong connection system patented by Subfoil and you can enjoy it without any worry because uh, there is absolutely no way you lose your hydrofoil while riding in the water. As you can see it was quite simple to configure the Kraken quick release system. The only thing to keep in mind is that after the first few foiling sessions, especially if you are doing freestyle, the system may settle and uh, so you probably will need to check again your configuration and add one shim per side in order to compensate the change in the distance between the quick release module and the conical pin. You will only need to do this kind of configuration once the first time or twice in case your system has settled, but after this your hydrofoil is ready to go, you can forget about the hardware and you can enjoy all the advantages the quick release system offers to you. Of course, we still recommend to periodically check your system and monitor its condition to see if everything is okay. I really hope this second video was useful and interesting and I recommend you to watch the first one to see all the advantages of this Kraken quick release system with also a practical example and a demonstration. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friend so they can discover this great upgrade for their hydrofoil. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to activate the bell so you never miss a video from Subfoil. Always stay tuned and see you here next time. Bye bye.